Hey everyone, on this episode of Dad Sews, I'm going to show you how easy it is to thread a Juki MO2000 QVP serger with the touch of a button and a puff of air. Dad Sews! Dad Sews! Dad Sews! Hey guys and gals and internet pals. Well, this is gonna be a very quick episode of Dad Sews because it's so easy and quick to thread the Juki MO2000 QVP serger. Now, I've owned different models of sergers, different brands, and they are a pain in the butt to thread, especially the lower and upper looper. And if anything goes wrong, you have to cut all of the threads and start all over again and go in the exact precise order or it just doesn't work. I once had a project where I had to rethread the machine 13 times and that was for one pair of leggings. Well, you don't have that problem with the Juki MO2000 QVP because you thread it all with a button and a puff of air. All right, let's go. All right, first step is just to grab this tray. This is what catches all the fabric that gets cut in the surging process. We open up our door and voila! I didn't cover this in the unboxing video because I didn't know it was there but it has all of the tools you need for surging. It's got a cleaning brush, a little screwdriver, it's got extra needles, and most importantly, this handy dandy pair of tweezers, which we are gonna use. All right, so we're gonna take our first piece of thread, which just goes from back to front in the loop up top. We're gonna slide it in this metal bracket loop in the back, and we just lay it over our dial. All right, then we go through the notch in this metal piece right here, and underneath, there's a little hook that we just slide it into. All right, now make sure you flip up the lever that turns the air on, and turn the dial until you hear a big click. That's the metal pieces aligning so it can shoot the thread through with a puff of air. It's so cool. All right, we're gonna pull out 12 to 15 inches of thread here, and then I'm gonna take my tweezers because I've got that dry skin and it just grabs that thread. So I'm gonna hold the thread with the tweezers and then we're gonna stick it in the first hole. And that's it. You just stick it in there until it doesn't want any more. All right, now you can let the thread lay in your tray but there are little things that can hook it. So I'm just gonna lay the loop in my hand and I'm gonna push the air on button. That's it, it's threaded. I'm not lying, that's it. The lower looper is threaded. Now all we have to do is grab the thread and pull it through the back of our machine. That's it, it's done. All right, let's move on to the upper looper. All right, the upper looper is very much the same. You pull the thread through, you pop it in that metal hook, lay it on the dial, metal bar in the slot, slide it through there, 12 to 15 inches, take your thread, and guess what? We're putting it in the blue hole. The red pill or the blue pill, Neo? Well, you need both. All right, we're gonna slide in plenty of our thread, make sure it's in there. And then I'm just gonna hold it in my hand like I did the other one, and hit the air on button. It's done, it's done, it's done! It shot it right through. All we gotta do is grab the thread, and just kind of bring it to the back. And you do this so that all your threads are together so it makes your chain nice and pretty. All right, now I've already threaded one of my needles because the process is exactly the same. Now I like to go ahead and give my thread a little angled cut to make sure there's a nice sharp end there. All right, we're gonna pull it down and again, it goes through that little metal bracket or hook in the back over our dial through this metal bar it's gonna go under this piece of metal right here, and the last thread goes over the tan little pentagon or house right there. And then we pull it down, and there's these two uh, curly cues, and we're gonna slide this one into the one on the far left, and it just slides through just like that, all right? Make sure you have your air turned off, all right? And then we need to turn our dial so the white box lines up with the little black line on our machine. 
we pull down the automatic needle threader. And then all we need to do is we hold this thread into the slot right here. We make sure that the needle threader is pulled to the left needle and we pull it through. That's it. It's done guys. We have threaded our machine. And if I wasn't talking to you or shooting it on video, you could do this in less than 60 seconds. Can you do that with your serger? You can't because this is awesome. All right, let's see if it works. We close our door, we pop in our tray, and let's run some fabric through. All right, lift our foot, and there's my pedal. Look at that, perfect. We have threaded our machine, and we have sewn a nice surge chain right there on our fabric. Does this make you want a Juki MO2000 QVP? I bet it does. Well, I've got a deal for you. If you go to the link below, it's dadsos.fabricut.com, you can get the best price on the Juki MO2000 QVP. And right now, as a special giveaway with Dad Sews, they're giving away free trolley rollers for your machine. That's right, it's a bag with a handle and wheels. You can wheel your machine around for going to sewing classes like they have at Fabricut, or conventions, or just throwing on the plane and going to surge some clothes, maybe on vacation, because why would you want to ever leave this wonderful machine. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I would really appreciate it if on YouTube you give it a thumbs up or on Facebook you gave it a like or click that share button. That's really awesome because as you know, we love to give away prizes to people that share Dad Sews videos and content. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next week with a new tutorial or maybe a funny sewing video. Bye bye. This production is brought to you by the Plaid Dad Blog Podcast Network. For more information, visit us at plaiddadblog.com.